Hello, welcome back to the media box of the 28th session of the Congress of Local and Regional Authorities. My name is Keely Sullivan, and I'm joined here today by Tracy Simpson Lang. Welcome. Hello. And just to begin, how should local authorities approach the inclusion of Roma from your experience? Well, in my city, we have a combination of Roma, Gypsy, and Traveller. We, we have Irish travellers as well. And we think it's very important that we work with those communities, listening to their views, not mm. doing to them, but actually understanding what they want us, what they want us to help them with. So we think that uh, uh, dialogue is one of our most important um, mm -hmm. concerns when we're trying to help our communities. Right, and how important is um, helping your community on the local level? Well, we've done a lot of work in making sure children go into education. We've also done a lot of work with women, and women is one of the main th things that I focus on. We've been helping women get education. We found a lot of our women don't have education. We've got a number of them through the basics um, of the British education mm -hmm. system, and now we're getting them into employment, which is a really difficult issue, also, uh, culturally within their families, but also within our own um, um, static communities who mm -hmm. sometimes have an issue about being working with some of the Gypsy Roman traveller community. Right, and also as a local politician, what is the biggest stumbling block? I think our biggest stumbling block is our media. It tends to, on a local and national level, put a negative view about our community across. So then we have to go back to our communities and say, mm -hmm. ignore that, don't listen to that. So we are worried that children might be um, bullied in schools because mm -hmm the other children's parents have read something out or they've seen a newspaper and they've heard something. So it's about trying to make sure that we don't have bullying and harassment of our communities to stop them being integrated. Right, and what would you think would be the best way to uh, combat a bad media stereotype? Difficult. Um, <laughs> Sensationalisation is the, the food of the media, yeah. uh, or much of the media. Um, we, we, Gypsy Roman traveller, particularly gypsies in the UK, have, have been first recorded about in the 11th, 12th century. Mm -hmm. They're one of our oldest communities, and yet they are so marginalised because they live differently. And it's trying to accept that different isn't wrong, and I think that's what we're trying to help with. Right, and also, um, just to mention with the media and negative mm. stereotypes, um, how do you feel about reality shows that mm -hmm. depict gypsies, Roma, and travelers in a negative way? And yeah. how do you feel that it fuels this, uh, yeah. this sentiment? It was really interesting to see the reaction to My Big Fat Gypsy Wedding and mm -hmm. I think the other three series that have now followed that. It's made stars out of some of the people. There is one gentleman who's actually had his own show visiting Roma in Europe. So maybe that was a positive um, outcome. But then there was a sensationalising of these young girls, the 16, 18 year old, getting married. But three million people were watching it. Three million people who would probably normally not stand next to, these, next to anyone from the community in a supermarket. So maybe it has given some positive um, aspects to people about culture because I think British people are very fond of, of, of culture you know, very precious to them, their culture has been diluted, these are the words you hear. Yet here is a group of people whose culture is probably stronger than most of the people who feel they have something against the Gypsy Roman Traveller community. So I had big fears when I first saw the advert, but for the programme, really big fears. I watched some of them, some of them were a bit horrendous. Um, but maybe it has helped, maybe it has shown that, you know, these people do want better for the children, they do want better for their own lives, that a lot of the women are very intelligent women. There is a view that the women are not very intelligent, that they are victims of domestic abuse, and that is true, but there are some very strong women in those communities, and I think that has been a positive move for the media to go in there. And it was brave of them to let the media in, considering typical negative stereotypes that the, the community receive. Right, right. And uh, thank you so much. We appreciate your time. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you.